Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you. In spirit, I will say. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Let's look at the angle of the word fear. I think this is the manifestation of the spirit today. The end time manifestation of the spirit. Fear. 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 Hallelujah. I will look at my Bible. Let's see. The beginning of that trend before Jesus was uh, crucified. Hallelujah. The journey. If we are to look at the journey, we take our heart to the book of uh, Luke 22. You will take your heart from that journey of Luke 22. Verse 39, Jesus went out as Israel to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, pray that you will not fall into temptation. He drew about a strong storm beyond them, knelt down and prayed. Listen to that. That is the proof test now. Verse 42. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet, not my way, but your way be done. I can sense an expression of fear. Not my way, but let your way be done. Check it again, you say. Father, if you are willing, take this call from me. Yes, not my way, but your way be done. Let's say the rescue now, in verse 43, you say, an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. Are you there? Let's take this from this angle of fear. Fear. We are living in the end times, a manifestation of the spirit of fear all over. Are you with me? End times, a manifestation of spirit of war. Even before you are here today, you know what happened to you? As you are sitting down, if you hear, you say, what is that? What is that? What is that? As you are looking at me, you are also looking somewhere else. If you suddenly hear, bah! you may like, likely not even say, how are you, Timmy Joshua, before you find your way. <laughs> Manifestation of spirit of fear. The fear of failure, fear of Aship, poverty, fear of uncertainty. Rejection, fear, 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 fear. And what is fear? In that text, verse 39, if you are to define that fear, you define it quite different from the way you know it. Fear is 
a more deceptive enemy than Satan. When you learn someone is sick and later die, it's not that sickness that kills the person, the fear of that sickness. It is not the sickness or your challenge that is killing you. It is the fear of that challenge. It is not the situation you are in that is killing you gradually. It is the fear of that situation. When you think of people that had that situation in the past, what happened to them? Ah, they die. Oh. It happened to my brother. What happened? My boss. What happened? The great man, what happened? And you know when people die, they advertise the cause of death. You now begin to say, ah, cancer, ah, deadly disease. That is the name, because people have it. <coughs> Apartation, at attack, ah, what happened to the people? Fear of this Fear of that. Fear changes focus. Fear. Fear. The good news is that we have a friend, the Holy Spirit, who can help us to fight this monster called fear. This is the case of our Lord Jesus Christ. In that test, he said, I'm not here to do my way, but your way, if you like, you can help. But I would have won this cup to pass over. Yes. This is the case of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is the one who sustain him, who help him. Good news. The Holy Spirit is the one who sustain him in the garden of Gethsemane when he prayed consigning the cup of suffering. Say, let this cup pass over me. You can sense an expression of fear. Let this cup pass over me but the Holy Spirit step in and remind him, you are not here to do your will, but the will of who? <laughs> Let the will of God be done. The lesson we are learning now, he said, Let the will of God be done. I'm not here to do my will, but the will of heaven. Let the will of Father be done. What is the will of Father concerning your situation? Ask your neighbor, what is the will of Father concerning your challenges? What is the will of Father concerning your situation? What is the will of Father? Concerning what you are going through, what you don't mind, you don't want to know. You are not here on earth to do your way, but the will of Father. But what is the will of Father? A, a man can be sick and yet be a Christian. A man can, can, can be poor and yet be a Christian. Whatever you are going through, that does not make you an unbeliever. He said, let the will of God be done. 
that is the voice of Jesus. Jesus' death with fear at its earliest stage. He death with fear at its earliest stage. By saying, let the will of God be done. Tell your neighbor, this is death. It fear at its earliest stage. I can hear you. He refused to give place to fear. He resisted it. He cast it out. Fear. 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 He died with fear at its earlier stage. This show that having fear is not wrong. It is when we harbor and entertain it and let it grow in us that it become a problem. Have a fear is not a problem. It is when we have war and entertain it and let it grow in us that it become a problem. Fear, fear, fear. We must learn to deal with fear in its earliest stage. Tell your neighbor, learn to deal with fear in its earlier stage. Again? I can hear you. Again? Yes. 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 You must learn to deal with fear in its earlier stage. Earlier stage. Have no fear, it's not wrong. When you look at the book of Job 3, verse 25, Job said, I quote, What I feared has come upon me. What I was afraid of has happened to me. That's Job 3, verse 25. He said, what I feared has come upon me. What I was afraid of has happened to me. Tell your neighbor, what you fear comes upon you. What you are afraid of will happen to you. If it's not treated, Ellis, that's what we are going through today. When we begin to give place to fear, we are giving place to the devil. Tell your neighbor, when you begin to give place to fear, you are giving place to the devil. Devil key, steal, and destroy. Tell your neighbor, when you begin to give place to fear, you are giving place to the devil. Devil key, 
steal and destroy. You begin to begin to begin to 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 to, to give place to give place to fear. Not say fear. You are indirectly given place to the devil to strike. With affliction, with poverty, with this. They will kill, stay, and destroy. When you begin to give place to the fear, you are given place to the devil. We should not give place to fear because what you fear may come upon you. What you fear may what? I can hear you. We should not give place to fear because what you fear may come upon you. Fear failure and likely you fail. You know what is happening all over the world today? The fear of political oppression, physical oppression, fear of religious oppression, demonic oppression, fear, 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 fear of moral oppression. Then you look at your right, fear, left, fear, forward, fear, back, fear, 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 fear. Epidemic. We should not give place to fear because what we fear may come upon us. Yes. Tell your neighbor, you should not give place to fear. Because what you fear may come upon you. Fear is no joke. Take note of the it is a biblical fact. When you open the second Timothy chapter one, verse seven, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, but of love. And but of a sound mind. Fear is no joke. It's no joke. Ah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid this is what killed my grandfather. Because that it kill your grandfather does not mean it will kill you. This is what Satan is using to brainwash us. Fear. Fear. Fear, fear changes focus. Fear, fear. There is power in fear. Yes, someone say. Power to torment. There is power in fear. Power to snare our soul. There is power. In fear, power to hang up us in life. Fear, hang up us in life. There's power in fear, power to paralyze our potential. Fear. Let's want to say fear. 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 Read that verse again. 39, 41, 42, 43. Jesus said, if it is your way, that is an expression. Fear. But he dead with fear at its earliest stage. Look, having fear it's not wrong. 
it is when we have and entertain it and get it grow in our heart that become a problem. Let him pray for you. You right now stand up and begin to plead the blood of Jesus against every fear. Rise up right now. Plead the blood of Jesus against every fear. Open your lips, prayer. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus against every fear. Fear of failure. Fear of hardship. Fear of rejection. Temor al rechazo. Fear of career failure. Fracaso en la carrera. Fear of isolation. Temor a la... The fear of political oppression. Presión o política. The fear of religious oppression. Temor a la opresión religiosa y política. The fear of moral oppression. La opresión moral. Aplica la sangre de Cristo a cualquier fear, que tenga fear, temor. Fear, fear, fear. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus against every fear. Aplica la sangre de Cristo a cualquier área de su vida que tenga temor. Oremos. Continue de prier contre la peur, la peur de l'échec, de la difficulté, la peur du rejet. Every fear, I plead the blood of Jesus against you. Je mets le sang de Jésus contre toute peur, toute crainte qui est en vous. La peur de l'oppression politique, continuez de prier et rejetez cela au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Applique la sangre de Jésus-Christ à cualquier área de su vida que tenga temor. Oremos. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. You fear every fear in the name of Jesus. Your situation is not the one that are oppressing you. It is the fear of your situation. Your situation doesn't kill, but the fear of situation kills. Sickness doesn't kill, but the fear of sickness. Fear rules our life and disturbs our sleeping hours. Are you with me? Tell your neighbor, fear rules our life and disturbs our sleeping hours. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. La peur dirige nos vies et dérange nos heures de sommeil. Yes! When it is time to rest, time to sleep, you begin to think. How will I get out of this problem? Tomorrow, how will I go about it? How will I do it? What will I eat tomorrow? How will I eat tomorrow? How will I pay my house rent? Ah, I have a case to answer. Ah, fear rules our life and disturb our sleeping hours. The time we are supposed to sleep, rest, fear is there. Fear becomes a feeling we live with day after day. A feeling. You are no longer have any feeling again. Even feeling. You become feeling. You live with day after day. Tell your neighbor, fear becomes a feeling. I live with day after day. That is fear for you. A feeling. A feeling. Fear, 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 fear. Ah. 
When fear comes, you lose sense of reason. Sense of what? You, oh, no, you cannot reason. You even see your mommy, you call your mommy a wish. When fear comes, you begin to look for wishes and wizards. Which doctor? When you get to them, you will be the one, instead of even allow the witch doctor to tell you your problem, you say, <laughs> okay, you say, help me see this woman. This woman is fat. Is fat? Yes. Uh, it's a woman. Uh, my, my, your grandmother? Yes, it's my grandmother. You have lost sense of war. You cannot reason. Because of fear, when you are going on the road, you see a little girl, a little boy inside the porch car. You say, ah, this is a criminal thief. Oh, see them, they have carried our money. Oh. Anybody that better than you is your enemy. Fear make one to lose sense of war. You cannot reason again. Look at anybody that's bigger than you, anybody that's better than you is a criminal. Fear becomes a feeling we live with day after day. That is fear for you. I plead the blood of Jesus against every fear. I plead the blood of Jesus against every fear. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus against every fear. Fear of failure, rejection, career failure, career failure, fear of uncertainty in the name of Jesus. Think over it again. What T.B. Joshua have to do is telling you, still telling you. T.B. Joshua say, ha. Ah, fear rules your life and disturb your sleeping hour. You have no feeling? Feeling, but fear. Fear, 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 fear. You give meaning to every sign, everywhere, every idea. If your wife does not greet you and you get to work and they sack you, you say it's your wife. And if your husband does not see you and you get somewhere and they insult you, you say, no, your wife has carried some spirit. Fear. Fear. Bless his way. You may be seated. Thank you. Can you tell me the message you are taking home right now? Concerning this, the word fear. What message are you taking home? The message I'm taking home today on the issue of fear is that fear kills even more than the situation. At the situation at hand, sometimes we focus more on fear than even the situation. So fear kills more than the situation at hand. Not even more than. The situation does not kill, but fear kills. The situation does not kill, but fear kills. Glad for him, thank you. What message are you taking home? Having fear is not wrong, but when we have that fear, it becomes a problem. Glad for her, thank you. The lesson I'm taking home today is that uh, as a child of God, we cannot have a miracle with fear. But miracle always come only by faith. So as a believer, I must be faithful, not to be fearful. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? The message I take home today is learn to deal with fear at its earliest stage. Don't let fear develop into a problem. 
That is simple. Having fear is no wrong. It is when we harbor and entertain it and let it grow in our heart that it becomes a problem. This is the case of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died with fear at its earliest stage. Ah, uh, a message that I will take in home. I learned that when you accommodate fear, you accommodate the devil to Thank destroy you. you. Thank you. Clap for him. <clears throat> that is when we begin to fear, we are given place to the devil. Tell your neighbor, when we begin to fear, we are given place to who? Yeah. To the devil. Devil key, steal and destroy. I can hear you. When we begin to fear, we are given room. We are given room. We are given place to the devil. And devil come to key, to steal and to destroy. Praise God. At the beginning, the man of God started by saying that fear is the more deceitful enemy than Satan itself. Yes. And the Holy Spirit helped us to fight the monster called fear. Jesus refused to give place to fear at his earlier stage. Thank you. And well, the message that I'm uh, taking home is that when you give fear a place in your heart is when you allow it to grow in you. Thank you. Emmanuel, what I learned is fear is not coming from Jesus. No, clap for him. It's true. Oh. Oh, how I love you. You love Jesus so much. You defend your father. Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he went for me. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, viewers all over the world. Thank you.